communion leads to transfiguration. Jesus had communion with his father and communion with saints. <clears throat> of course, there are many misinterpretations and wrong uses of this principle of communion with saints. That apart. Jesus had communion with God the Father and the saints up on top of the Mount of Transfiguration. And his countenance, <clears throat> his body itself changed, became renewed. When you partake in the Lord's table, you are having communion with God. And you are having communion one with another within the body of Christ. And when you do so, the anti-aging blessing process begins to work in your life. You are transfigured. Think about it. That's a blessing which Jesus received. You and I can receive. Let's be aware of it, conscious of it, in faith, humbling ourselves and lifting up Jesus. Enter into the Lord's table with utmost gratitude, praise, thanksgiving and worship. And let the Holy Spirit do the work of transfiguration in our soul, spirit and body. As we have communion with Him and with His members of His body. God bless you.